given that we are inviting our clients into these very new places uh, that do arouse all kinds of fears and shame and, and uh, other barriers, that um, it's very easy for people to go to a state of being hopeless about the process of therapy. Um, and also their ability to succeed in therapy. You know, when someone had brought up in the article about viewing hope as a commodity, meaning that uh, it's coming from the wise other, um, it could be a godlike figure or some, you know, master who is going to impart their wisdom and that that will instill hope. But I think we all know that in the work we do, um, change comes from the therapeutic partnership or alliance, and that both partners have a role to play. You know, both are, um, in a sense, going to, going to be responsible for what, what develops. And when our clients are begin to get this, that it is not going to be solely about, I see what you need and I will direct you, but rather that we're both gonna to need to dig in and pay attention and share uh, the burden of the work, if you will, that uh, of course, a lot of self-doubt gets aroused. And um, and I think particularly with people who are very depressed, you know, can am I going to be up to this? Uh, can I do my part in this? And so it, uh, you know, it becomes so important that we try to read when this is occurring, when these self doubts are occurring, doubts about the process, doubts about the person's capacity. To learn more about our programs or subscribe to our mailing list, visit deftinstitute.com.